Hi, I'm Angie and today I'm making light and easy chocolate cake. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and I've greased a 9 by 13 cake pan and just lined the bottom with a piece of wax paper. In this measuring cup I've got a half a cup of boiling water and I'm adding two tablespoons of instant coffee granules. So I'll just stir to dissolve the granules and then I'll set it aside to cool. For the dry ingredients, I'm using my electric mixer, and in its bowl, I've got two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to mix in two cups of granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and I have sifted that. It gets all the lumps out of it. Then I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and just a teaspoon of salt. I'll just set this aside. We're going to be mixing it with the electric mixer. Now in this measuring cup I've got one cup of milk and I'm going to stir in three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt. So I'll just set that aside as well. Then I also have two eggs that are lightly beaten and a quarter cup of vegetable oil ready to go and some vanilla. So you don't have to be worried about all the different ingredients that go into this cake. If you pre-assemble them and get them ready to go, it goes very quickly. So now in the electric mixer I've got my dry ingredients and we'll just stir those for a second to blend them. And now I'll add in the milk yogurt mixture, the two beaten eggs, the quarter cup of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of pure vanilla, and our cooled coffee mixture. I'm just going to beat those at medium speed for about two minutes. Okay, the batter's done and we'll just pour it in our prepared pan. We're going to bake this at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the top springs back. You can test it with a toothpick as well. Okay, I'll pop this in the oven and I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, it's been about 43 minutes and the cake is done bounces back, it's firm, it smells so chocolatey. We're going to want to let this rest for about 20 minutes on the rack and cool and while we're waiting we can make the icing. Okay so let's make the icing for this cake. In a saucepan I've got a half cup of granulated sugar and a half cup of cocoa powder. I'm going to whisk in a half a cup of milk and just whisk it until it's smooth and I'm going to put this over medium heat and stir it constantly bringing it to a simmer and I'm just going to cook and stir it for two minutes once it's simmering. Okay it's come to a simmer now and I'm just going to cook it and stir for two minutes. You want to make sure to stir it because you don't want it burning on the bottom of the pan. If it gets too hot just lift it up. Okay so after the two minutes you want to take it off the heat and stir in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and you're going to let this sit for two hours to cool and it's going to get thicker and after the two hours then you can spread it on the cake. So I'll set this aside for a couple hours. Okay now it's been 20 minutes and the cake has cooled it's time to remove it from the pan and turn it out onto a rack and then let it cool completely. So I just loosen the edges Put the rack on top. It should release very easily because of the wax paper you lined the pan with. There we go. Perfect. Now we have our icing all cooked and that's going to cool for a couple hours and by then the cake will be completely cooled and we can just simply cover the cake with the icing. Mmm, smells so good. So thanks for watching and I hope you try some light and easy chocolate cake.